Scanning electron microscopes produce images of any samples with stunning clarity and depth of field by scanning it with a focused beam of electrons. Even everyday things look completely different when they are magnified and viewed under one. Here are some incredible images of different things under an electron microscope. This is the mouth parts of a tick, which consist of three visible components. The two outer jointed parts are highly mobile palps. Between the palps at the center is a rod shaped structure called the hypostome. The palps do not enter the skin of the host while the tick is feeding, while the hypostome is inserted into the host's skin. The backward pointing projections prevent easy removal of the tick. This is a mint aero bubble chocolate. A silk moth showing its blue compound eyes and large feathery antenna. The larvae of the silk moth known as silkworms are used to produce silk. This is a microbot grabbing a human sperm and carrying it into an egg to help with conception. In this case, a rotating magnetic field drives and guides the sperm bot in a screw-like motion towards an egg. After the sperm reaches the egg, scientists are able to reverse the motor to back it off of the sperm. In addition to using the tiny motors with sperm, this also opens up the possibility in the future of using such technology to help other vitamins and medicine reach their desired points of destination in the body. Four lilac flower pollen grains pictured on a petal of the purple plant. The tip of a fly proboscis. Fruit flies possess mouth parts adapted for sucking and feed on plant juices. The tip of the proboscis has spongy structures and conveys liquid food to the mouth. Solid foods are dissolved in a drop of saliva and sucked up in the same way. A close-up of a tasty and widely popular fruit, a blueberry. This is a T4 bacteriophage. A bacteriophage is a virus which infects bacteria. The T4 virus infects E. coli, a bacteria that has been used extensively for molecular biology research. A filament from an incandescent light bulb. A part of a human fingerprint showing details of skin ridges in the outer epidermis. The small circular apertures on the ridges are the openings of sweat glands. Epidermal ridges occur on the soles and palms and they form a distinct pattern. Each fingerprint pattern is unique to an individual. Even identical twins have different fingerprints. A cross section of a chicken egg shell shows the hard mineralized egg shell and the inner fibrous membrane. The hard mineralized egg shell contains calcium carbonate mineral crystals that form many tiny pores in the egg shell. The egg shell's inner fibrous membrane is composed of protein fibers. A processionary moth caterpillar found in South and Central Europe which can cause skin irritation and asthma. This is a tomato. Gastric mucosa from the middle part of the stomach with some adhering mucus. The epithelium of the gastric mucosa consists of only one layer of highly prismatic cells. The cells are firmly connected to each other by tight junctions. Numerous mucus-producing secondary cells are scattered in the epithelium. 
The mucus of these cells and the mucus of the stomach glands protect the epithelium from the gastric acid produced in the stomach. A close-up of a mechanical pencil. Silver crystal growth between electrical solder joints causing electrical failure. Small yellow grains of pollens are scattered on the petal hairs of a marigold. Potted marigold florets are edible and used to add color to salads or as a garnish. The flowers were used in ancient Greek, Roman, Middle Eastern and Indian cultures as a medicinal herb as well as a dye for fabrics, foods and cosmetics. A single strand of human hair. Hairs are made up of dead tissue. The outside of the hair, the cuticle, is covered in overlapping scales that protect the hair's central cortex, which is made up of the fibrous protein keratin. A torn perforation from the edge of a postage stamp. Refined and raw sugar crystals. The smaller crystal is refined. This is Neris Sandersi, a type of deep sea worm found in the hydrothermal vents 2630 meters below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean. These worms feed on bacteria that live directly off minerals released by the vents, a process known as chemosynthesis. A close-up of a mascara brush. A cross-section of blade of grass. The smiley faces are channels that water is drawn up through. These are white blood cells attacking a parasitic worm. The white blood cells are often responsible for fighting parasites and cancer cells as well as controlling common allergies. An open anther, the pollen-bearing section of the male reproductive part of a flower called the stamen. Seen here are the nylon hooks and loops of a velcro. These are two-day-old zebra fish larvae. Some snow crystals. This is what cotton fabric looks like up close. A close-up of kidney stones that are usually formed by the precipitation of the mineral salt calcium oxalate from the urine. The resulting hard round stones may cause severe pain, especially as they pass down the urinary tract. Large kidney stones may need to be surgically removed or broken down using ultrasound therapy. The bright red pollen of the colt's foot flower.
the surface of a long playing stereo record with a scratch across the grooves. The grooves are cut into a flat disc of polyvinyl chloride. The nature of the groove varies with the intensity of the music. The straighter the groove, the quieter the music. The more wavy the groove as seen here, the louder the music. Dental plaque on strands of used dental floss. This microscopic shot is of human sperm. A banana skin magnified 200 times. This is a water bear, also known as the tardigrade, and despite being a fraction of a millimeter in length, it is almost indestructible. It can withstand environments as cold as minus 273 degrees Celsius or heat of more than 151 degrees Celsius. Or you could keep it without water for a decade, subject it to almost any kind of pressure or send it into the radiation filled vacuum of space where it can survive beyond 10 days without any damage. The surface of the shell of a heart-shaped sea urchin. A red blood cell squeezing out of a torn capillary. A capillary is the smallest type of blood vessel, often only just large enough for red blood cells to pass through. Red blood cells transport oxygen from the lungs to body cells. The oxygen transfer occurs in capillaries, where carbon dioxide is also removed and then taken to the lungs for exhalation. Red blood cells are the most abundant cell in the blood. They have no nucleus and are about 7 micrometers across. An acoustic guitar string. These are dividing human cancer cells. A Brussels sprout. Image of an ant leg magnified 1450 times. This is a rapeseed leaf. This time-lapse video shows neural stem cells in a nutrient medium over a period of 4 hours. The video reveals the dynamic growth and recycling of dendrites and synapses as neurons establish relationships with each other. A common house fly. A section through a roasted coffee bean reveals the internal structure. This bean contains the stimulant drug caffeine. This and other soluble chemicals are extracted from ground roasted coffee beans using hot water and drunk as a beverage. An image of the sound producing comb of the field cricket. The comb is rubbed against the underside of the opposite wing. Only male crickets produce the characteristic sound. <laughs>